Yo guys, back off of uh, the last time we showed down block, go behind on a single. Obviously, if you have a good opponent, lots of times what's gonna happen there is square up, but as they square up, they leave a great opportunity for us to hit the mantis. If you don't know what the mantis is, go back. I know we showed it last spring. We do a lot of that here. If you watch international wrestling, you see a lot. If you watch college level wrestling, you see it a lot, right? So, mantis position, just to define it before we go into it, is this double over position, right? A lot of people aren't using it for headlock as much because we get our elbows captured and then that's a whole that's a whole mess of problems right there. So people are using mantis a lot. So I'm gonna go slow motion first. Remember this is right off of the technique we showed on Sunday. Aaron shoots single leg, boom, a down block. And as they go behind, he squares up. Okay, so as he squares up, I switch to the over, I slide my knee back, boom, bounce, and there's my go behind there. Okay, so again. Not every single time, and, and we're gonna go, as we get into more defense, we're gonna go into other options that he could do off of our down block. But this time, as he circles, we're just switching our mantis. Boom, bring him down, hit our go behind. So one more time, a little quicker motion. Aaron shoots single, down block, he switches. There's our go behind, okay? Guys, I've been watching a lot of World Championships film the last couple days, and I gotta tell you, a lot of the takedowns I'm seeing are off of down block reattacks. So it's down block go behind, down block three shots, all kinds of stuff, down blocks, you have to know these. 